Crime and safety. Problem-oriented policing works. How to reduce crime has been the subject of many scientific studies. What works and what doesn't? A lot has been revealed about this matter already. We should put that knowledge to better use. Too often we still find ourselves fighting symptoms, <coughs> whereas addressing the root causes is what accomplishes the best results. The police cannot do that on its own. We always need help from other organizations and from citizens. This clip is about the problem-oriented approach to persistent safety concerns according to the SARA model, a strategy which has proven its effectiveness domestically and abroad numerous times. Crime intelligence and active participation by civilians and entrepreneurs are key elements. When safety concerns arise, the so-called 80-20 rule plays an important role. A small portion of causes is responsible for a large portion of consequences. Safety concerns often concentrate at specific locations and among a small number of offenders and victims. Through its daily presence on the street and by remaining in contact with civilians, the police remains well informed about the neighborhood's safety problems and the priorities of its residents. This is determined in the area scan, which makes scanning the first SARA step. When the police applies a targeted approach to hotspots or repeat offenders, sound results can be achieved very quickly. However, in the long term, this does not suffice, because, above all, the root causes need to be addressed. That is why the second SARA step, the analysis, digs deeply into the primary safety concern, for example, a hotspot or a group of offenders. Such a problem analysis focuses on the three sides of the so-called crime triangle. The presence of motivated offenders, vulnerable victims or an attractive target, and an environment with limited supervision. Based on this problem analysis, a plan of attack is drafted under supervision of the local triangle committee. This response is the third SARA step. Collaboration among all organizations and authorities, and especially civilians, is vital in executing measures aimed at the offender, the victim, and the environment. Active civilian participation can make or break the success of the approach. In around 70% of all cases closed, the crime had been reported by a civilian as it was happening. By using social media, neighborhood meetings, flyers and billboards, civilians are actively included in the approach. This doesn't just lead to better material and personal protection, but to timely reporting of suspect situations as well. This dramatically increases the risk of getting caught. Residents join WhatsApp groups and neighborhood watch teams, or they volunteer as coaches or supervisors of high-risk youngsters. At the same time, environmental elements that negatively impact the chance of getting caught are addressed. For example, better supervision can be achieved by placing additional lighting, decreasing the number of escape routes, and trimming hedges and bushes. It's not just the police that keeps an eye out, but also municipality representatives, shop owners, bar owners, janitors, and bus drivers. The problem-oriented approach is successful because of its focus and coherence with regard to the measures. It is vital to evaluate regularly and to make the positive impact of the approach visible. Nothing has a more stimulating effect than success. This is where assessment comes in. The final SARA step. Aided by proper safety communication, improved safety can permeate to other elements. Civilians feel safer and gain confidence in law enforcement and its partners. They become more involved and more prone to report. Other forms of crime and nuisance are reduced as well, sparking an upward spiral. The challenge is to keep up the good work. If success leads to complacency, the problem often resurfaces. That's why it's important that both law enforcement and other organizations keep tending to the underlying causes of safety issues. Only a cause-oriented approach can improve neighborhood safety in a sustainable way.